Today we took a boat out to do a catch and cook here in Lombok. I've been waiting to do this for the longest time. My last time in Lombok, we didn't manage to catch anything. So this time around, we're determined to catch at least something we could eat. We started off around 7 a.m., picked up some water, snacks, and bait, and our boat pulled in, we loaded everything up and started heading out into more shallow water, and then straight away on my first try, I caught one of these guys. These boats sway so much in this water, I find it almost impossible to move around since there were barely any handholds, but the locals were just running around the boat, no problemo, which amazed me. We were out there for a few hours, moving from shallower to deeper water and then back again, and while I didn't catch anything else, the local pros managed to catch four barracudas and this little tuna. And then since not much was really happening, we headed back into land. And then later that evening, we went over to one of the local fishermen's homestays where a whole bunch of their friends showed up. A couple of guys got to work cleaning and gutting the barracudas and tuna, and another couple of guys were making this marinade for the fish, which had garlic, ginger, ketchup, manis, and oil. Here, they almost always use coconut husks and shells for their barbecue wood, which doesn't really burn for long, which meant we needed a lot of coconuts. I always think it's quite nice that whichever culture you're in, if there's a fire going on, the guys will all gather around and talk about how they started the fire. At first, they tried slapping the fish straight onto the grill, but realized it was pretty difficult to flip the fish this way, and so it would stick too easily. So someone zoomed off on their moped and came back with some of these folding fish grills, but it did mean I got to try some of the barracuda, which is my first time ever trying it. This little taster got me so excited. What I found hilarious was multiple times while we were grilling, we would realize we forgot something or that we needed something, and then someone would just zoom off on their moped for a few minutes and come back with exactly what we needed. And then here is a little baby tuna that we caught as well. Once the fish was ready, they cut down a couple of these leaves from this banana tree right behind them and used it to cover and serve the fish on. They also had this little parcel made from banana leaf, and when I asked what was inside, they said it was some of the guts from the fish, which I got to try here. I think some of this was milt from one of the fish, which tasted just like the fish meat, but it was a bit chewier. And then they also told me to try this part, which I think was liver and tasted really similar, but much more mild than liver I've had from other animals. And before I knew it, they had an entire spread ready for dinner, along with this spinach soup and one of the best sambals I've had. The sambal tasted super fresh and not too spicy, and it seemed like it was a fairly simple sambal. Barracuda was soft, delicious, and the tuna was a bit tougher, but also still so delicious. Overall, 10 out of 10 day here in Lombok, Indonesia.